So in this video, we're going to learn what the differential line element dr actually is. In, in physics, it's often called dl with a little vector symbol over the L. So where does this show up? Well, anytime we want to do a line integral with a vector function, so I'll call that vector function here e in honor of the electric field, that might be a function of coordinates, let's say x, y, and z. We, if we do a line integral of that electric field, this is what that's typically written as. So E is a function of x, y, and z dotted with this differential line element, dr. And so one example of this is, say, our electric field or our vector function looks like just a bunch of arrows pointing to the right. So, for example, E might just be equal to a constant times x hat. So it doesn't actually depend on the coordinates. And maybe we want to integrate it from some point over here A to some point over here B. My question for you is, is dr equal to, does dr point in this direction from A to B? Is this dr? And you might think, well, yeah, you know, that's the line that we're integrating over. So that's the direction that dr points. But, and so we might say, well, in that case, dr is just equal to minus x hat dx. But this would be wrong. So this would be very, very wrong. And I'm going to tell you in this video, hopefully help you understand why that is. So what's actually going on under the hood when we do this integral? Well, this is what's called a parameterized, parameterized, parameterized line integral. And so what's actually going on behind the scenes is that we are saying that, okay, I have some curve that I want to integrate over and that that curve might, you know, do something funky. It might be a straight line. It might be straight from one direction to another direction. And I can parameterize that curve. So I can parameterize its coordinates in terms of some functions, x of t, y of t, and z of t. So for example, if we're just integrating along the x-axis, then x of t would just be equal to t, y of t, would be equal to zero and z of t would be equal to also zero because we're just integrating along the x-axis. And for compactness, we, com we typically combine these three into a vector, which we call r, which is a function of t. Now to figure out what dr is, we can use the chain rule. So dr is actually related to r. In fact, dr is just equal to the derivative of r with respect to t times dt. And so if we actually take this derivative, in this case, dr dt, we can differentiate each of the components separately. So dx dt is just equal to 1, dy dt is equal to 0, and dz dt is also equal to 0. So we can write this out in terms of its components. So dr is x hat times dx dt plus y hat times dy dt plus z hat dz dt all multiplied by dt. And so in our case, if we're just talking about the x-axis, then these two dy dt and dz dt are zero, and we're just left with dr being equal to x hat times dx dt, which is just one times dt. Now notice that this is positive. So dr is actually pointing in the positive x, to x hat direction. It doesn't depend on whether we're integrating this direction or this direction dr, because it's related to our actual underlying coordinates, it's always positive. So we cannot separate dr from the underlying coordinate system. And if we do, then we're actually not integrating our original function anymore. We might be integrating, for example, e of negative x 
instead of e of x, or e, depending on how we parameterize it, e of x of negative t, which is just horribly confusing. So dr is not pointing in the direction of integration. dr comes from our underlying coordinates, or the coordinates that we're using to parameterize the curve over which we are integrating, which are usually x, y, and z. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.